Falling, all right. All right, we're here with the warm-ups of the men's game here. The Lady, Card Lady Cardinals with a big win in the opener by a score of 53 to 27 win over the Lady Knights of Southwest Adventist University. Uh, Cardinals ladies with a 53-27 win, led by 16 points by Jade Richard along with nine rebounds. She was leading the way, the All-American. Junior led the way for the Cardinals tonight. Lady, the Lady Cardinals that was tonight. A victory in the early game. At 7 o'clock, once again, for South this is Cardinal basketball here on AUSA, the Andrews University Student Association YouTube channel live in HD. www.aucardinals.com. All you gotta do is go to every one, uh, every home game. All you gotta do to, to get the live broadcast is go to aucardinals.com. Click watch live and you're there. Nine o'clock tip off. It's the Andrews University three-time USCAA national champion men's Cardinals against the Southwestern Adventist University Knights from Team Texas. The Cardinals and the Knights tonight. The, the ladies got the win in the opener. Men trying to complete the sweep. They're trying to get a win. Got to fear the claw. Cardinals trying to get some wins here before they play on Monday. A couple of games coming up on the broadcast. A noon start for the ladies, 2 o'clock for the men. As we have uh, the University of Cincinnati Claremont in here. Nice to see you. Oh, it's a lot of fun. Come on in and watch the game. Cardinals, win, ladies win the opener, and the men trying to equal the feet here. Yep. And uh, we'll see what happens in this second game. Southwestern Adventist University, Team Texas, and the men's team is coached by former Cardinal Tyler Wolverich. So. Well, we got Tyler Woolridge here, the general, back in town again, member of the three-time USCAA national champion, Andrew Cardinals. Welcome back, Tyler, to the complex. How do you like the new facility? Oh, it's real nice. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, this yeah. was one thing you would have liked to have seen when you were here, a new facility. Oh, no but, doubt. But you did a great job at Johnson Gym, and we, we've got three manners to show for it, and uh, good luck tonight. Uh, what do you think the keys of the game are? Oh, well, it's, it's pretty simple for us, not turning the basketball over. <laughs> Defending, playing with energy. There you go. Take care of the rock, right? Yeah, that's what you got to do. We're so glad that you're in. Got to see your dad. That's beautiful. And uh, it's always a great reunion when you come here. You get to see your dad. So Tyler Woolridge, three-time USCAA national champion and uh, was the general and starting guard, point guard on those teams. Glad to have him back. So Tyler Woolridge, uh, and uh, he's the head coach of the Southwestern Adventist University men's team. And uh, we well, are glad to have them. Now, uh, over here, we got, uh, we've got our head coach, Michael Pallas. And uh, what do you think the key to the game is today? You hear about Coach Pallas, Coach Vonderpalski with him here. What do you think uh, we got to do? Take care of the rock? That's Take care of the rock. Yeah, that's control. The priority. That's the priority. Control some boards. Roll the boards. Roll the boards. Okay. Well, both teams. Good shots. Good shots. Take smart shots. Make sure you're open, right? And seal off. Get some rebounds. That's what the Cardinals are out after. We got to do what we got to do tonight. There you go. You got keys from both coaches now. They're getting ready to start on AUSA. <laughs> there you go. It's a lot of fun uh, to be on remote mic. I can get around to uh, get comments from a couple of the people. And the Cardinals and the Knights getting ready. They're warming up on both. The Knights and Cardinals both with similar colors, the white and black with the red trim. So not much difference in colors between the two teams. Um, should be a fun night. We got nine minutes to go. Now opening tip. So 
Again, uh, University of, uh, uh, let's see, it's, uh, they gotta, let me check that again. It's University of uh, Cincinnati Claremont is the game they play on Monday. Cardinal, Cardinals men's team will have a chip off at two o'clock. Afternoon matinee games on Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So more Cardinal basketball coming up on Monday. I'm, uh, anxious to see how this, uh, this game goes. Always a fun rivalry between these two Adventist universities, Southwestern Adventist universities in Keene, Texas, and of course here Andrews University in Bering Springs, Michigan. A lot of uh, people know each other from both places and uh, should be interesting. All Cardinal games uh, brought to you by Andrews University Student Association YouTube channel live in HD, www.aucardinals.com. Got to click watch live from the website once you get there and you can get every home game. Also can search YouTube on the AUSA channel or just say, you can just search YouTube at Knights versus Cardinal and you can get there. So, should be a fun night. Clock tip here from uh, the Andreas and Health and Wellness Center. Brought to you tonight by Andrews University. Quality education close to home. Andrews University. Seek knowledge, your firm faith, and change the world. So, hope everything goes smooth. We don't want any injuries. Both teams warming up, talking to the referees. Should be exciting. We'll get underway here in just a few minutes. Mardones, Mardones and Dyer. Bowley, Maryland. Bowley or Bowley, I'm not sure. Five minutes, six minutes, 6.54 left till we get to the opening uh, tip here. Andrews University Cardinals and the Southwestern Adventist University Knights. Your free time USCAA National Champion. All righty, thank you, sir. We'll get the starters for the Cardinals just checking in. That's good. All right. down on the opening preliminaries here, the warm-ups. Ladies with a big win in the opening game, 53 to 27, and uh, now the men are going to try to equal the feet. Gotta love it, you gotta fear the claw. Cardinals getting ready for trying to get a sweep here tonight against the Knights. We got a halftime entertainment thing coming on, so let's find out what this halftime entertainment's all about. Here's Rob Geddes, athletic director. What are we doing at halftime, Rob? We're gonna have a little fun. We're gonna have a little fun. A little so it's a surprise, huh? So well, five people from the audience are gonna be involved, and uh, we'll some kind of shooting thing or something. Five people from the audience. That ought to be good. So tune in during halftime. You might see some something going on there. A lot of fun here from the Andreas and Health and Wellness Center here on the campus of Andrews, of Andrews University, a brand new facility. And uh, you gotta love it. And it's being used well tonight, bro. Southwestern Adventist University and your Andrews Cardinals. We got lots of fans that have filed in. We got the Dronin clan here getting ready to root for their son. And I don't see Grandpa yet. Is he making it out tonight? So. All right, Pastor Grandpa Dronin, maybe not going to come out tonight, but we do have a good contingency of Dronin fans. That, that ought to be some cheering there for Maxwell. All right, one of the players on the Cardinals. His family in here tonight to uh, cheer on their relative son, grandson, and brother. Cardinals trying to get a win here before they take on the University of Cincinnati Claremont on Monday. And let's hope they can come up with some good, good uh, efforts here. As I mentioned earlier, the, car, the uh, 
Southwestern Adventist University Knights are coached by Tyler Woolrich, former Cardinal, who was on the three-time USCAA national champion teams here at Andrews back a few years ago, now a coach himself. So, The Cardinal mascot out here strong tonight, walking around, that's good, keeping the enthusiasm up. Lots of people warming up. Looking at a picture of people there They're in the gym, everybody warming up. A little shooting contest at the half, it would be enjoyable. Coach, Coach Athletic Director Rob Getty says we're going to have a little fun at the half with five different people from the audience shooting. That ought to be interesting. Just a little over two minutes left until we get to the second game, folks. I think we do now. We'll get a tour in a minute. Yeah. All right, we got everything set up. Okay, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome to the Atreus and Health Center for tonight's game. It's the Southwestern Adventist University Knights and your three-time USCAA national champion, Andrews Cardinals! We'll begin tonight's game with a opening prayer. Matt. Please rise for the prayer and remain standing for the national anthem. Our guests. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you for the opportunity to come out tonight, despite the weather, to enjoy this game of basketball. We pray for the safety of the athletes 
and that this game will be carried out in the character of Christ. For the same in Jesus' name, amen. amen. And now our national anthem being sung tonight by Vivian Romando, a fourth year music education major. Let's welcome Vivian, our national anthem. Please remain standing now as we honor our nation's flag. Oh, say can you see? from Huntsville, Alabama, number zero, Justin Lamb. <laughs> Starting lineup for the Knights, a freshman from Houston, Texas, number 23, Takori James. <laughs> Starting lineup tonight for the Knights, a sophomore from Columbus, Georgia, number 24, Tyrese Wineglass. Starting lineup for the Knights, a freshman from Bowie, Maryland, number 30, Marcus Dyer. And rounding out the starting lineup for the Knights, a senior from Houston, Texas, number 11, Devin Anderson. The head coach of the Cardinals is Tyler Woolridge. Mm. Assistant, George Mardonitz. Now let's hear it for your home team, your three-time USCAA national champion, Andrews Cardinals! Starting right up tonight for the Cardinals, a freshman from Marion Springs, Michigan, number three, Maxwell Drownan! A junior from Fayetteville, North Carolina, number 15, Barry! A junior from Detroit, Michigan, number one, Mylon Weathers. A senior from Detroit, Michigan, number 32, Denzel Daniel. And a man of the senior from Lansing, Michigan, in the starting lineup, number five, Joshua. Patrick! Head coach to the Cardinals, Michael Palace, assistant Brian Bonderpowski, assistant Zeke Wadake. Let's go, Cardinals! And there you go. Two teams ready to rumble. The Cardinals and the Knights. 
From the Address and Health and Wellness Center on the campus of Andrews University, here we go. Cardinals with a lot of juniors and seniors in the starting lineup along with freshman Maxwell Dronin. That's where we are and that's where we're going as we head to the jump ball here on this 9 o'clock tip-off here on a Saturday evening here from the Atreus and Health and, Wellness, Health and Wellness Center. We're about 13 minutes behind the normal time, but uh, it was a 9 o'clock tip was the plan, but it's 9.13, that's okay. All the preliminaries took a little while with that beautiful uh, national anthem sung live. And the Cardinals win the tip, Armstrong to bring it up. Cardinals with a ball, Weathers. Now over to Armstrong for the three, no good, and right away the Knights have the rebound. Knights with the ball, working it around the horn. 15 on the shot clock, swings it to the top. Shot in the key, good by number 23, Ty Corey James, with the bucket for the Knights. So, they draw first on the scoreboard. Cardinals down 2 0. Armstrong brings it up for Andrews. You could get a good Armstrong brings it up to Daniel over to Weathers with the ball. Weathers. Inside the lane, driving, shooting, and draws the foul. Scoring is Mylon Weathers. And the Cardinals go to the charity strike for the three-point play, and they have tied the game. Foul, first team foul on the night. And let's check the foul. It's on number 30. Dyer, his first, team's first. So there you go. And the Cardinals have a 2-2 tie. Now a chance for Weathers here to give the Cardinals the lead, and he does. Cardinals three, and the Knights two. Here we go now, Knights with the ball, working it down. Shot for three, good on that left side by Weinglass. And it's five to three, Knights in the lead. That didn't take long for the Knights to recapture the lead. Drogan with the ball in the left corner, gets it back out to Armstrong. Cardinals quickly back on the other end. Go inside to Denzel Daniel. Daniel takes the shot just inside the charity stripe, can't get it to go. Defensive rebound out there by Anderson for the Knights. Knights with the ball and a two-point lead at the moment. Tyler Wilbridge, the head coach of the men's Knights team, he's a former Cardinal who was on those three three-time USCAA national teams, championship, championship teams here in Andrews. So, well, Knights turn the ball over there on the miss. Ball goes out of bounds to the Cardinals. Weathers now full court pressure being put on by the Knights. Ronan with the ball, cross center line to Armstrong. Armstrong gives it over to Dronin. We got 15 on the shot clock over to Denzel. Daniel down low to Joshua Fitzpatrick, who just missed that shot on the alley-oop. Now back the other way now come the Knights. Very fast-paced game here. Knights with the ball, take the shot right side. Shot no good by James. Armstrong the rebound for the Cardinals. Over to Mylon Weathers, back to Armstrong, swings it to the right to Joshua Fitzpatrick, out to Dronin for the shot, no good. Offensive rebound by Lamb. Lamb with the rebound for the Knights, and Lamb going coast to coast. This is the shot, Armstrong, back the other way for the Cardinals on the miss, gets it down to Dronin for the bucket. Maxwell Dronin on the fast break, gets the layup for the Cardinals, and a timeout on the court by the Knights. We're tied at five early on, and Maxwell Dronin gets in the scoring column right away. So there you go, the whole clan liked that one, I bet. <laughs> five to five, all the fans here. You've got mom and dad here, sister and family in here. Five to five right now, here at the Andreas and Health and Wellness Center. Andreas and Health and Wellness Center, we're tied at five apiece. And everybody getting some chow time in on the sideline watching this game. Gotta love it. Five to five right now. Right now. Here we go now to the timeout. Knights with the ball. 
Lamb brings it up. Wings it to the right. Number 30, Dyer. Back to Lamb, trying to drive. Dunks cut off, goes back to the left to Wineglass. Now down to 30, Dyer down the lane for the shot, no good. Fitzpatrick the rebound for the Cardinals. They quickly go down, back the other way. Big, trans quick transition by the Cardinals all the way over to Armstrong. Now they swing it back and forth beyond the arc. Weathers, Dronin, Armstrong, all around beyond the arc there, playing catch. Down to eight on a shot clock, and uh, Enzel Daniel works it inside to Weathers for the bucket. Seven to five now, Cardinals in the lead. Nice ball movement by the Cardinals there, and they patiently work for the shot. Now back the other way now come the Knights. 23, Wine Glass trying, or 23, James trying to get that pass down low for the Knights and turned it over, but now the Cardinals turn it right back. As across the center line, Fitzpatrick has it knocked off his foot out of bounds. Good defense by Dyer. Get that ball back for the Knights. Well, Knights with the ball. Cardinals in the lead, seven to five. Driving as Lamb takes a shot on the left. Can't get it to go. Drone in the rebound for the Cardinals. Over to Armstrong, down court. Armstrong now has the ball tipped away. It's stolen away by the Knights. Anderson the other way, and he lays it up and in for the Knights. That has got to take care of the rock. Turnover results in two points for the Knights. 7-7 seven, seven tie. And now whistle on the other end as the Cardinals trying to get it back down the court quickly, and there's a foul on the Knights here. So, stops play. Foul number 24, Wineglass, his first, team's second. Cardinal ball, second team foul on the Knights. Cardinal ball underneath the Knights hoop. Inbound pass to Dronin. Goes down low to Denzel Daniel on the left baseline. Now, Daniel hits Weathers, who cut across the paint there and gets the layup. Nice, nice, nice exchange between Daniel and, and Weathers for the bucket. Nine to seven, Cardinals back in the lead. Knights back down the other end. Lamb on the left. Anderson at the top with the ball now is Anderson. Now they turn around shot top the key by James is good. Well, they hit James just, just inside the arc and he hit the shot nine to nine. Nine to nine is the score. Patrick with the ball, gives it to Daniel, has a shot blocked by Dreyer. Daniel gets the ball back, drives and misses. Weathers the offensive board and now a loose ball underneath. Weathers is tied up under there and it looks like a jump ball. Possession now belongs to the Knights and everybody's trapping for it. Good also by Marcus Dyer, the freshman from Maryland and uh, he is able to get the ball for the Knights. We're tied at nine. It's gonna be, I think, a little closer game than the last one we had. Here's Lamb driving down the lane and he draws the foul on Denzel Daniel making contact. So we'll send uh, it's a shooting foul, first team foul on the Cardinals, first on Denzel Daniel, and that sends Justin Lamb, the freshman from Huntsville, Alabama, to the line for the Knights. Interesting. Well, shot up and good for Justin Lamb, and gives the Knights the lead, 10 to nine. One more free throw coming up for the freshman from Huntsville, Alabama. 14.48 left first half, and the Cardinals trail the Knights 10 to 9 right now. Here from the Andreas and Health and Wellness Center. A pair of free throws good by Lamb, and it's an 11 to 9 ball game. Cardinals trying to bring it up, and it's a full court press again put on by the Knights. Ronan beats it, gets it to Weathers, over to Fitzpatrick, over to Denzel Daniel, and the bucket underneath by Daniel, and that ties the game at 11. And one more free throw coming here as Daniel goes to the line for the three-point play. Enzel Daniel, I believe, will shoot here. Fouls on number 32. Well, there's, excuse me, the fouls on number 24, Wineglass, his first, team's third. Shot up and good, three-point play for Denzel Daniel, and that makes it 12-11, Cardinals back in the lead. Well, a little seesaw defensive battle here early on. Lamb with the ball, swings it to the right. Anderson, now they go right corner, baseline, drive by Dyer, he's cut off, they dump it back out. James over to Dyer, cross court Lamb, 
Left hop out of Key, Anderson shooting the lane. Anderson gets the finger roll to go, or the shooter's roll. And it's 13 to 12 now. Cardinals trail. That was Anderson with the bucket. For the Knights. Cardinals with the ball with 20 on the shot clock now trying to answer. Back and forth they go. Here's the inbound to Armstrong. They go to Fitzpatrick. Down low to Denzel Daniel. Back out Armstrong over to Fitzpatrick for three. Yes, sir. Fitzpatrick from buries the three from the left side beyond the arc way out there. 15 to 13. Cardinals go up by two, but quickly back. Shot left side, or right side, excuse me. No good by Weinblatt. Rebound by Weathers, and the Cardinals in a break here. They go down to court. They get it to Dronin in the left corner. He misses the three-pointer. Defensive rebound by James for the Knights. Back the other way, the Cardinals with the ball. Oh, the Cardinals on defense, excuse me. Here's a three-point shot. No good by the Knights. Dyer, and now battle for the rebound, and we're going to get a foul called on Lamb. Or is it knocked out of bounds by Lamb? It's knocked out of bounds by Lamb. And number 25 checks in the game for the Cardinals. Let's look at uh, yeah, number 25. That's Quinnell Anderson in the game for the Cardinals for seven tonight for the Cardinals with 13 minutes to go in the half. Cardinals on top, 15 to 13, and they have the ball. They go down low to Daniel on the right, back outside Weathers. 18 on a shot clock. They dump it back. Armstrong in the right corner for three. Another rainbow out there from Jimmy Land, and the Cardinals up 18-13 on a pair of three-pointers. Loose ball as that ball was intended for James, picked off by Daniel. The Cardinals get the steal and they're right back with the ball. Give and go from Daniel to Fitzpatrick. Oh, and the runners for the bucket. Cardinals get a three point play again. Daniel got it to Fitzpatrick, who got it to the, to the, to the break to the bucket. Weathers, who scores off the window and draws the foul. Fouls on number 24, Wine Glass, his second, team's fourth, and the Cardinals go in for the three point play here, up by seven now, 20 to 13. Big free throw here for the three point play is good by Weather, and the Cardinals run up by an eight point lead here, their biggest of the night, 21 to 13. And we got subs in now, number two, Emmanuel, Manessa Emmanuel checks in the game for the Knights. Cardinals with the lead now on defense now. 12.43 to go on the half. Lamb with the ball on the right. Now he swings it to the left. Top the key, Anderson now over to Lamb on the right. 15 on the shot clock for the Knights. And now Lamb gonna take the three on the right side. No good, Fitzpatrick the rebound. The Knights having a little trouble shooting here as of late. Cardinals for the ball, Anderson dumps it back to Daniel for three, no good. Defensive rebound goes to Anderson for the Knights. Back the other way on the break are the Knights. They go inside to 23, James. He's triple covered, gets it back out to Lamb. Lamb with the ball, 12 minutes left in the half. They swing it in the corner now. Well, they're keeping it around the top of the key. Number 11, Anderson. Trying to get it inside, the ball stolen by Fitzpatrick. Here we go, back to the other end on the fast break after the steal. Weathers scoring for the Cardinals. Cardinals get the steal by Fitzpatrick. They lay up on the other end by Weathers, and they lead at 23-13. The Cardinals with a 10-point lead. And we got Coach Woldridge here. Coach, in that timeout here, I want to say, how do, you, how, how do you think of that ladies game tonight? What do you got to say about that? Well, uh, the, girl, the girls played well. We managed to get everybody in, and it was a good effort by both teams. I think yes. Southwestern Adventist really hustled and scrapped and played very hard. They have a young team, and they're just learning. So, yeah, I mean, that was great. All the ladies got in the game, and bang, now they got a lot of contribution off the bench. That was great. I thought the effort was really good by both teams. Yes. We, uh, we controlled the boards really well, but we shot ourselves in the foot with way too many turnovers. Yes. So before our next game Monday, we've got to clean up our mistakes. But. University of Cincinnati, Claremont on Monday. Okay, well, you've got a good you know, game to 
prep you for that one, and you know, positive anyway, and that's great, something to build on. Yeah, we're back to a winning record, and we hope that we can just keep take, taking positive steps and moving forward. All right, and have a good time watching your son coach this game, yes. Tyler Woldridge. There we go. All right, there we go. That's Coach Kevin Woldridge of the Cardinals ladies team, who won 53 to 27 earlier tonight. And here we go out of the timeout. The Knights trail by 10. Leading Cardinals here, the men's team leading by 10, 23 to 13 right now over the Knights. Here with 11.48 to go in the half. So, oh boy. Let's see if the Cardinals can keep building on this momentum right now. They've opened up this lead. Lamb to bring it down for the Knights. Brings it to the right. It's Anderson. Back top to key, number 30, Dyer. Driving with the ball now is Emmanuel and gets the feed in and the layup is good by Dyer. Emmanuel opened that one up with a nice drive and then kicked it out to Dyer for the bucket. 23 to 15, good ball movement by the Knights. Cardinals now on the other end. Leathers with the ball, swings it out to Denzel Daniel, cross court to Armstrong. Armstrong with the ball, looking for help, swings it to the right, Leathers inside on a pass from Weathers. Getting loose underneath was Fitzpatrick, and he scores easily. 25-15, Cardinals back up by 10. 11 minutes to go, first half. Lights back on the other end now on offense. Lamb with the ball, swings it cross court. Anderson for three, can't get it to go. And Armstrong gets the rebound for the Cardinals. Gets Fitzpatrick along the right sideline. Now they go to Cornell Anderson inside. Fitzpatrick to Denzel Daniel for the bucket. Cardinals work the ball inside again and get the bucket. Denzel Daniel is the one that gets the two points this time. 27-15, Cardinals now off to a 12-point lead. Shot turnaround jumper is good by 23 James of the Knights on the other end. And it's back to a 10-point game, 27-17. Cardinals keeping that two double-digit lead right now. Weathers with the ball on the left, top to Key Anderson, fakes the three, goes back to Weathers, three on the left for Weathers, no. And a battle for the rebound, and we got a loose ball foul, and it's gonna be a foul on number, fouls on the Cardinals this time. Going for the loose ball. That's their second team foul, first on Weathers. It's Knight's ball, and 10 minutes to go in the half. Back down court they go. Are the Knights. Knights looking for help. To the left. Lamb with the ball. Swings it to the right side now. Back and forth. Anderson. Anderson trying to drive. Emmanuel dumps it back. Shot no good by James. Cardinals with the ball now and a 10-point lead. Armstrong brings it up, gets it to Anderson. Down to Weathers, breaking to the hoop. Weathers with a reverse layup, can't get it to go. It's Patrick, the offensive board, and put back for the Cardinals. And they go up by 12, 29-17. We got nine minutes left in the first half. Knights with the ball. Right corner, it's Dyer, and he's in trouble, and the ball stolen away almost by Weathers. Still 18 on the shot clock for the Knights. 18 on the shot clock for the Knights. Comes the inbound to Lamb, turn around, gives it to James for the shot, no good, offensive rebound, Dyer, back out to Lamb, 15 on the shot clock in the corner, no good on the three by James in the right corner. Cardinals have the ball back. Letters with the rebound, and now they work it inside, they get down low to Denzel Dandel, ball stripped away by Lamb. Good steal, but three on one break for the Knights. Shot no good on the, on the other end by Lamb. The ball fast break for the Cardinals, no good. Weathers misses it. Now Anderson intercepts the pass coming the other way. Fitzpatrick gets the layup as a result for the Cardinals. Got to take care of the ball there. Both teams are really optimistic opportunities. And that time they took advantage, but Anderson just sneaking up and stealing that at midcourt on the return pass and getting it to Fitzpatrick for the layup. Eight minutes to go in the half. The Cardinals now with a 31-17 lead. 14-point Cardinal lead and now turnover there by the Knights. 
Cardinals quickly down to Anderson on the other end, missed the shot. Defensive rebound, James, and now a two-on-two -two break for the Knights, and a foul called on, fifth, I think, is gonna be on, Air, on Armstrong. That'll slow things down. Nope, gonna be on Weathers, his first. His second, excuse me. Well, Malon Weathers picks up his second foul, and that's the fifth team foul. No, the, that is the third team foul on the Cardinals. As we get subs in, 22 checks in for the Cardinals. 22, Adam Cassell into the game for the Cardinals. Nice with the ball on the inbound, Lamb with it. Also in the game, Emmanuel back in for the Knights. Well, the 24 wine glass who has the ball now driving to the hoop off the window, no good by Anderson who took the shot that time. The wine glass had it, wine glass had it, then Armstrong now couldn't get the re couldn't get the. Uh, couldn't Timeout Knights with 7.17 to go in the half, and the Cardinals with a commanding 33-19 lead at the moment. So right now the Cardinals have established themselves and have established the momentum. A big crowd here in tonight. Big crowd here in tonight at the Andreas and Health and Wellness Center. The Cardinals ladies team won the opener 53-27 over the Southwestern Advent University Knights, and now the men's game being settled, and right now the Cardinals men opening up a lead here. So we'll see what happens. Seven seventeen to go here in the first half. Back down the other way come the Knights. Lamb with the ball. Oh, got caught in the air and tried to get the ball back to Anderson. It was stolen away. Come back by the Knights. Quickly, Anderson get to the wine glass, got it back, and he got, gets it down to Lamb for the bucket. Yeah, it's back and forth turnovers right now, and this time the Knights win the battle. And they get the bucket. 33 to 21 right now. Cardinals in the lead. Enzel Daniel swings it over to Armstrong. 15 on the shot clock to Fitzpatrick. Cardinals working around now. Daniel settles for three from the top and hits the three-pointer. Cardinals hitting some shots from Jimmy Land tonight. Way out there beyond the arc, burying those. 36-21. Cardinals in the lead by 15 now. Six, six, six minutes to go in the half. Lamb drives, cut off, back outside. Three-pointer Anderson, no good for the Knights. Yeah. Ball goes out of bounds off the Knights, and end of the game is Wiley. Ryan Wiley into the game for the Cardinals. Cardinals using some players in the ladies game. Oh, they used everyone tonight. Six minutes to go in the first half on the Cardinals up 36-21. Fitzpatrick with a ball, turnaround shot just outside of the free throw line is good by Fitzpatrick. 38-21, a 17 point Cardinal lead. Back the other way come the Knights. Anderson with the ball. Trying to drive, goes to the hoop, off the window. Anderson with the bucket for the Knights to make it 38-23. 5.25 remaining in the first half. Angel Daniel back outside. This is Cassell over to Anderson, and now the ball knocked away by the Knights out of bounds, leaving 16 on the shot clock for the Cardinals. The Knights bring James, number 23, and Dyer, number 30, into the ball game here. Here comes the inbound, Wiley with it. Wiley swings it left at the cell, down to Fitzpatrick, left baseline, down low to Denzel Daniel for the bucket. Fitzpatrick found Daniel, and they're getting some really good shots right there, directly right at the hoop. Now they're up 40 to 23. 40 to 23 Cardinal lead. And now a pass down low by Wineglass gets away, intended for Dyer. He was cutting to the hoop, and the Cardinals get the ball back on the um, uh, Knights' turnover. Cardinal ball, and they have a big lead with five minutes to go in the half. Things going well tonight at the... Good steal by number 23, James, and he gets it to Lamb back to James for the bucket. 
Well, James got the reap the glory of his steal and gets the basket. It is now 40 to 25. Here's Cassell over to Fitzpatrick. Anderson trying to cut to the hoop back to Wiley. Now back to Cassell. Inside to Denzel Daniel in the corner. Anderson trying to drive, takes the shot on the run, can't get it to go. Offensive rebound and put back by Fitzpatrick, and the Cardinals are in control, especially on the rebounding end of things. And Fitzpatrick goes to the line for a three point play, and the Cardinals really opening this game up. As Owen, Owen Fainer checks in now for the Cardinals. Fainer in. And the Cardinals going all over with all kinds of players tonight with a big lead, 42 to 25 at the moment. Joshua Fitzpatrick, folks, at the line for the three-point play. And Fitzpatrick got the three-point play. It's 43 to 25. Three-pointer in the corner, no good by the Knights. Number 22, Barrow. Barrow. Now 45-25, a 20-point Cardinal lead with four minutes to go in the half. This one's starting to become a blowout. Shot up off the window is good by number 24, Wine Glass, for the Knights to make it. Oh. 15 on the shot clock for the Cardinals. Wiley, yes for three. Wiley from downtown, and it's 48-27. Cardinals rain mowing the threes down on the Knights here in the first half. Three-pointer by the Knights on the other end is no good by Wineglass. Cardinals have the ball again. They're just lighting it up right now. Wiley off the bench with several baskets. There's the Knights, three-pointer in the corner, good. Now it's inside the three-point line, just inside the three-point line by Dyer. Makes it 50 to 29 now. Cardinals with a 21. lead with 235 to go in the half. 24 wine glass with the ball. They swing at the lamb. Back to the right side. Now the ball knocked away. It's 22. Barrow tried to get it in. And 54 29 with two minutes to go in the half. Here's the Knights, shot up, no good. And shot no good by James. And the Knights are really just outnumbered. They're a young team, though, the Knights are. A lot of freshmen on this team, you gotta realize. One, two, three, four, five, six freshmen on this team. So they're doing a whale of a job trying to do what they can. It's a very young team. And they got a good leader, a person that knows basketball, Tyler Willard, so they, they've got a chance to build. Here's Fitzpatrick back out to Fainer. Over to Wiley. McDaniel trying to go to Fitzpatrick, who was cutting to the hoop with the ball thrown away by Denzel Daniel. Cardinals turn it over with 148 to go in the half and a big 54-29 lead. Knights ball. And here we go. Knights will bring it up. Comes the Knights foul. Number 30, Dyer, grumps it back to the right corner. Now they go all the way to the other side to Emmanuel. Now back in the right corner to Dyer. Ball almost stolen away. They cut it across. Now down the lane, Lamb knocked away. Stolen away by Fitzpatrick now for the Cardinals as Lamb tried to drive to the hoop. Good steal by Emmanuel, who goes all the way to the other end for the Knights for the bucket. 54-31, good play by Manassas Emmanuel. 1-0-5 remaining in the half on the Cardinals with a 50.
situation the Cardinals are doing, going down low and deep into that basket. They, they go down low every time, and they cannot stop Denzel Daniel or Fitzpatrick. Here's, here's the Knights for the ball. Lamb gets it inside to the cutting. Dyer for the shot, no good. And Fitzpatrick the out of there for the Knights. They get it to the left. Three-point shot at the buzzer by Anderson. No good for the Knights. And at the end of the first half, it's the Andrews Cardinals 56. Southwestern Adventist University Knights.
good performance tonight. In the first half, 13 for Southwest Adventist University. The Cardinals have out rebounded them 22 to 14. Uh, leading to a huge halftime lead, and we're checking on our technical difficulties. He shoots, uh, it was pretty close. Not Good getting job, any, Let's give it up for Andy the Cardinal. Not getting any, um, there we got a picture now. Going in and out. Is there a loose cord over there? It's just, it's loose as it is. Ah, there's a loose, there's a loose cord. I wonder if that's affecting our video feed. So now we got the picture back. We're doing what we can. I've got to watch that cord. I think we have a real sensitive cord that's hooked up, hooked up to the camera. So I'll keep an eye on that. And uh, I think we got it. Hopefully uh, that fixes the problem. Thanks a lot, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a lot of people working on it. Southwestern Adventist University. Southwestern University. Southwestern uh, Adventist University Knights, 31. The Andrews University Cardinals, 56 at the half. Here from the Abreus and Elton Mullen Center. Well, hopefully we don't have any more problems that that cord has been a problem for a while. I think we've got to really watch it. the video there you go see that got a comment back hey how you hey, doing hey how you doing is your voice dying what now's your voice coming all right my voice is here okay. and uh, yep a lot of fans coming over to say hi you're live on AUSA right now no 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 yep hey hey okay people saying hi and uh, letting them know they're live and Andrew's uh, people from out there are happy that the audio is and video are fixed thanks a lot you guys Team's warming up. 6.36 remaining here in the halftime intermission. Coach Pallas with a good first half. Well, Coach Pallas, what do you think of that first half? And it uh, looks like he got some good momentum going into the second half, right? Uh, yeah. Still got to have better shot selection. Better shot selection. And uh, center's wide open. We're settling yep. for too many perimeters. There, there you go. Work it down low look for some more high percentage, right? Yep. There yep. you go. The other, the other thing is on defense, we're letting them split us at the top. We gotta clean that up. Yep, yep, gotta cut, cut, uh, seal that stuff off on D. Okay, right. well, that's some good strategy right there. Keys of the game, Cardinals so commanding 56 31 lead right now, see so if they can keep the momentum. Thanks, Coach Ballas. Right, All right, here we go. <laughs> well. Well, the Cardinals, 56, and the Knights, 31. Both teams warming up for the second half. Don't go away. We still got a half a basketball to go. Southwestern Adventist University Knights and the Andrews Cardinals. Coach Woldridge out of the locker room. Let's see what happens in the second half. Coach Woldridge, what, uh, what's the key for you guys in the second half? 
uh, not turning the ball over and, and not giving up extra possessions. There we go. You got the keys of the game from both coaches now and they're ready to go for the second half. Should be fun. And once again, I gotta say it's nice seeing Tyler Woolridge back. Member of the three-time USCAA Andrews Cardinals team. Always good to see the, the general back. Good to see you as yep. Thank you. Yeah, so, uh, yep, here we go, second half, and we'll get underway. Cardinals and the Knights from Andreasen Health and Wellness Center. Beautiful night for basketball. Got a little snow on Friday night into Saturday, but nothing that can't keep it nice and warm and fun here at the Andreasen Center. Our friends from Texas are getting the full the full gamut. You got a little snow you got to see and everything on this trip, right? <laughs> yeah, they're all the ladies are watching from the sideline here. They played the first game. Now the men are playing the second game. So wonderful night here at Andreas and Health and Wellness Center. Beautiful. First half of the Cardinals, they're on top 56 to 31. Well, Cardinals led by 16 by Denzel Daniel, but um, 14 for Joshua Fitzpatrick, 12 for Mylon Weathers. And I see somebody in there named Maxwell Dronin has two points on a beautiful shot early on. Played some good defense. And we got three from Barry Armstrong, two for Owen Feiner, two for Adam Cassell, five for Zion Wiley. Cardinals have uh, 56 points in the first half, big lead. See what happens in the second half. Should be a fun finish to this one. Had a good halftime entertainment there. Had several participants from the crowd come and uh, do a musical chair basketball thing on the midcourt area there. Yep. Two more games coming up on Monday this weekend. A uh, long weekend of Martin Luther King Jr. Day on Monday. Cardinals will be playing uh, University of Cincinnati Claremont. 12 o'clock stop for the ladies, 2 o'clock for the men, and uh, that will be interesting. Now here we go, second half almost underway. And let's see what we've got any other comments here. I'm really... Can you do the first half stats? Okay, here we go. First half stats of the game, Cardinals with 56... Uh, points. They got 14 from Joshua Fitzpatrick, 16 for Denzel Daniel, 12 for Mylon Withers, 2 for Maxwell Jardine, 3 for uh, Maxwell Dronin, not Jardine, Maxwell Dronin, uh, 3 for Barry Armstrong, 2 for Owen Feiner, 2 for Owen uh, for Adam Cassell, and uh, Zion Wiley had 5 for a total of 56 for the Cardinals. 4 Southwestern Adventist University uh, total points. 4 for Lamb, 8 for Anderson, 8 for James, Wineglass had 5, 4 for Dyer, 2 for Emmanuel, and 1 no, uh, Barrow did not score. Barrow did not score, but he did play for nine, uh, for five and a half minutes there in the first half. So a total of uh, 31 points for the Knights. Knights shot 43% from the field, 14 out of 33, but they're only one for 12 from three-point land. They were two for two from the charity stripe. Uh, they had uh, they were out rebounded uh, uh, 22 to 14, uh, but. Uh, Cardinals uh, were four for four from the free throw line. They were four for 11 from three point land. Cardinals were 58% from the field, but they were going down low for a lot of close range buckets. 24 out of 42 from the field for the Cardinals. 14 out of 33 from the field for the Knights. Southwestern had the lead by two to start the game, but then the Cardinals went on a run and they have not ever trailed since then. Andrews, it was a seesaw battle early on. The lead changed seven times, so I should correct myself. It was a, you know, it was real close and it was from back and forth there in the beginning of the game because the score was tied five times and changed hands, the lead changed hands seven times, so. Yeah, Southwestern scored the first bucket, I should say, and then after that it was seesaw battle for a while there until the Cardinals really started taking uh, a, uh, started opening up the lead. Um, Andrews' biggest lead has been 25, Southwestern's biggest lead has been two. They were back and forth there for a little while and had a couple of small leads. So, well, Southwestern Adventist University has, and they have a chance here. We'll see what happens in the second half. <laughs> And here we 
go. The Cardinals will have the ball first. Maxwell Gronin for the ball. To start the, Maxwell Dronin to start the second half. Maxwell Dronin inbounds for the Cardinals to Armstrong. Dronin with the ball to the right. Back outside, they go Matt Dronin for the alley-oop! Dronin with the alley-oop to Joshua Fitzpatrick for the dunk. And the Cardinals make it 58-31, and that's the way to start the second half. Cardinals have really been able to get open down low on offense. And the Knights have to seal that off. Here's a whistle now to foul on the Cardinals as the Knights work it down low. It's going to be on number 32, Denzel Daniel, or number, no, correction. Uh, it's going to be, yeah, it will be on Denzel Daniel, his first, Cardinals' first team foul of the second half. So, well, the Knights work it down low and draw the foul, and at the line, number 24 for the Knights, Wineglass. This is the first free throw. One more left for Wineglass. As he steps up to the line for his second free throw, and he got it. One for two for Wineglass, makes it 58 to 32 now on the scoreboard. As Armstrong brings it down for the Cardinals, goes right to Dronin. Dronin right back outside, and Daniel alley oop again for the dunk. Two dunks in a row by Joshua Fitzpatrick. They just don't have an answer for that down low game of the Cardinals. Here's Lamb with the ball. Goes to the right, three point shot up and good. Nice return and nice three pointer by Wineglass to, to get right back and return some points on the board for the Knights. They are not phased by the bit, by the inside play of the Cardinals there with the crowd a minute ago. 60 to 35 now is the score. They go back down to Fitzpatrick for the bucket. He gets the layup down low, and he's got six straight points to begin this second half. 62 to 35. Fitzpatrick with 20 points in the game now leads the way for the Cardinals. There's a nice drive in the lane. Those shooters will uh, shot the lane wine glass. And he's working down low with 23. James and that resulted in a bucket for the Knights. 62 to 37 now is the score. Knights keep exchanging buckets here. Here's Ronan down low, gets it to Daniel. Back outside to Armstrong, 12 on the shot clock for the Cardinals. Armstrong give and go inside Denzel Daniel and now a pushing foul on Lamb. Down low for the Knights, and that'll draw the Cardinals will draw the first foul on the Knights here in the second half. First team foul. First foul on a Lamb. Fitzpatrick the inbound underneath the Knights hoop. Gets it inbounded to Weathers, has his shot blocked by 23 James. And then the rebound goes to number 11 Anderson for the Knights, who quickly moved down the other end of the court. Down the right sideline is Dyer. Swings it back out to Anderson, who lost the ball. We got a break now, and Armstrong on the other end gets the bucket for the Cardinals on the turnover. 64 to 37. Knights quickly back the other way, though. Line glass, cross court. Anderson, top to key, Dyer, dumps it back to Line glass inside the lane, shot block. As Lamb tried to go down, and now the fast break on the other end by, by Weathers, and he misses the shot. Offensive rebound by 23, James, they get it in the corner. And Lamb redeems himself with a good shot in the corner for the Knights, who so are very resilient, boy. They come right back with the bucket, 64-39 now is the score. 17 minutes left in the game. Ronan with the ball for the Cardinals out to Denzel Daniel on the left side. 14 on the shot clock. They dump it top to Key Weathers. Back out Daniel for three, yes. Denzel Daniel from downtown. And the Cardinals go up 67-39. With 16.45 left in the contest. Lamb with it. Dumps it back outside to Anderson. Now inside the lane to James. Turnaround shot. Can't get it to go. Fitzpatrick the rebound. Over to Armstrong, who brings it back the other way for the Cardinals. Armstrong swings it left to Weathers. Weathers looking for help. Gets it out to Dronin. Right side to Armstrong, over to the right, ah, to Fitzpatrick. Armstrong driving the lane, left-handed shot off 
Off the rim, no good. Well, defensive rebound by Wineglass. All the way to the other end for the shot, no good. And drone in the rebound for the Cardinals. So, that's a quick play by Wineglass. He got that good rebound and came all the way down, took the jumper, but could not get it to go. 15 minutes left in the game, and the Cardinals up 67 to 39. Weathers down low to Fitzpatrick. Turn around in the lane, off the window, good for Joshua Fitzpatrick, who continues to add to his total. He's over 20 points in the game. 15:40 left in the contest, and we're going to get a timeout by Coach Woldridge of the Southwestern Adventist University Knights. He calls the timeout with 15:38 left in the game, and the Cardinals up by a 69-39 lead. A thir uh, 30. Well, let's see. Hold it. Now it's a. 30-point Cardinal lead, 69-39 right now. Yep. That's what it is right now. Cardinals with a commanding lead at the moment. They're cruising along here in the second half at the moment. Uh-oh, what do we got going on now here? You store check. timeout. Lamb for the ball. Goes to the left side to Wineglass. Now they swing it right in the corner. Trying to drive with it is number 30, Dyer, and he's cut off. He now dumps it back to Lamb for the shot. No good. Battle for the rebound and a whistle and a foul called on the Knights. It's going to be on Dyer. He went for that rebound. Cardinals ball. Tried to go for the offensive board. Dyer did. 15-25 remaining in the contest. And the Cardinals up 69-39. to over the Southwest Adventist University Knights at the moment. Weathers with the ball. Goes to Denzel Daniel down low to Fitzpatrick. Back to Weathers who drives on, scores off the window for the Cardinals. 71-39 now, Cardinals in the lead. Back the other way now. Knights with the ball. In the corner, Wineglass dumps it out to Anderson, who drives down the lane, shoots and misses. Denzel Daniel, the rebound for the Cardinals. Knights are getting a look at some shots, but they're just not hitting them, and they're not getting very many second chances. There's Dronin in the corner for three for the Cardinals. No offensive rebound, Fitzpatrick. Cardinals bring it back out. Top the key, Armstrong resets. They go to Ronan with 12 on the shot clock on the right. Now top the key, Daniel down low. Weathers back out, Armstrong on the left, down to Fitzpatrick, down low. Missed the shot, got his own board, and put it back in. The Cardinals just dominating the boards. And it's 73-39, they just can't keep up with the rebounding needs that they need tonight. Anderson, yeah, there's the Cardinals do have a height advantage, it seems. There's a drive by Anderson for the Knights down low. They get it to Lamb, back out left corner. Shot good by James in the left corner for the Knights. 73-41, good ball movement by the Knights. Here's Armstrong to bring it up. Armstrong goes to the top of the key to Fitzpatrick. Down low, Denzel Daniel. Daniel now looking for help. Gets it back out, Armstrong on the left sideline. Top of the key. Denzel Daniel trying to do the popcorn machine, and then he passed it up back to Weathers, top to Key Daniel, back to Fitzpatrick over to Dronin in the left corner, Armstrong for three! And he gets it to go as the shot clock expired. 76 to 41, Cardinals in the lead. Now it's the Knights with the ball. Anderson playing catch out there with Dyer, and now it's Anderson to the hoop. Tries to shoot, misses. 
Drone in the rebound. Armstrong with it. Down the right sideline to Weathers. Back outside, Fitzpatrick, who now gets it to Armstrong, who will hold here. And Cardinals will try to slow it up here. 18 on the shot clock. Cardinals up big, 76-41 at the moment. No hurry here. Armstrong over to Fitzpatrick. Give and go to Weathers. And he draws the foul down uh, underneath the hoop, and that'll send Weathers to the line. Foul on the Knights. Foul uh, number 30. Dyer, his second. Team's third. No, it's his oh, correction. That foul, yeah, is on Dyer, his third. Team's third foul, and it sends Weathers to the free throw line to shoot two for the Cardinals. Shooting two with 12.42 left. Weathers is good from the line to make it 77 41. And more subs in for the Knights. Number two, Emmanuel into the game. Number five also checks in for the Knights. That's uh, Ware into the game. Ware checks in. I think from for the Knights. One more free throw for Milan, Milan Withers. Milan, Milan Withers, excuse me. And he has the free throw. It's up and good. So 78 to 41 now. The other way now come the Knights. Emmanuel with the ball, dumped it back, driving to the hoop. Wineglass missed the shot. Armstrong the rebound. Pass break. Dronen down court gets it to Weathers. And he, Weathers tried to dump it back to Fitzpatrick, who lost the handle out of bounds. It'll be Knights ball on the turnover. They give it right back. They were going on that fast break after the miss by Wineglass, but quickly. Trying to get a bucket, but uh, didn't pan out for him that time. Here's the Knights with the ball now. Lamb on the right, they go down low. Playing catch over there with uh, James. James with the ball, takes the jumper and hits the jumper. Shot on the right side inside the arc. 78-43, good shot there by the Knights, by number 23, Corey James. 11.50 left in the contest. Armstrong top the key for the Cardinals, shoots the shot, shoots the three, no good. Denzel Daniel offensive board and miss. Battle for the rebound, offensive board, Dronen. Now they get it to Armstrong, down to Daniel. Daniel in the lane, fadeaway shot in the lane, no good. And now Armstrong, no, it's Fitzpatrick with the offensive board. And he draws the foul, and again, the domination of rebounds on that offensive end is just unreal. So many second, hand, uh, second chances, so many second hand, ch uh, second, uh, Second chances uh, for the Cardinals when it comes to shooting lately. And uh, that's really results in some good points for you. And that's been the difference in the game right now. Yep. Free throw good there to make it 79-43 Fitzpatrick. We're going to come out of the timeout here. And we'll, well, Fitzpatrick shooting here. And the Cardinals get their, oh, missed free throw by Fitzpatrick that time. Defensive board by James over to Lamb. Lamb with the ball for the Knights. Brings it left to Emmanuel, and the ball goes out of bounds off of the, off of the Knights. A bad pass on that other side, got away. Knights turn it over. And it's Cardinal ball with uh, 11 minutes to go in the game, and they have a 79-43 lead. I'm, We'd be curious to see if the Cardinals go to the bench here pretty soon. Oh, there's a lamb putting on some good defense. Tried to steal it from Armstrong, but Armstrong controls it, gets it over to Weathers for the shot from Weathers. Hits the shot just inside the arc on the right side to make it 81-43 Cardinals. And the Cardinals is rolling along right now. Lamb with the ball. Goes inside. They go to James for the bucket. Good shot by James. 81-45 now. Ten and a half to go in the contest. Cardinals with them all in the lead, 81-45. And a pass down low to Weathers for the Cardinals. They go back to Fitzpatrick, back to Weathers, working the right side. No good on the shot by Weathers. Defensive board by 23, James. He goes coast to coast, dumps it right to Lamb. Quickly back the other way on the Knights. Now three-point shot by Wineglass, no good on the left for the Knights. It's Patrick the rebound, Cardinals get it to Armstrong. Now we go under the 10-minute mark remaining in the contest. 
Cardinals 81 and the Knights 45. Ronan with the ball on the left for the Cardinals. Gets it inside Denzel Daniel cutting through the lane. And a shake and bake move in the lane by Denzel Daniel and he scores. It's 83 to 45. Cardinals in the lead. Knights with the ball. Shot on the right side, no good by 23, James, and Angel Daniel, the rebound for the Cardinals. Nine and a half to go in the contest. Cardinals 83 in the Knights 45. Leathers with the ball on the right to Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick now looking for help. Gets it outside to Denzel Daniel over to Armstrong. Inside to Weathers. Weathers double team. Fitzpatrick with it now on the left. Five on the shot clock for the Cardinals. Ball stolen away by the Knights. Good steal by Wineglass. All the way to the other end draws the foul. With nine minutes to go. The Cardinals commit the foul. Knights go to the line. Wineglass to the free throw line for the Knights. Nine minutes left here from the address and center. Cardinals with the commanding lead at the moment. Number 24 at the line, Tyrese Wineglass. Subs now coming in. It's Zion Wiley and Max Ronan back in for the Cardinals. Who are now going to start bringing out some people from the bench with an 83-46 lead with nine minutes left. Wineglass shooting. We're going to get Quinnell Anderson checking in for the Cardinals, who are starting to clear the bench a little bit here. Now Weathers will come out. The Cardinals take out two of their starters. Armstrong out. Weathers out. Still a couple of players have not played yet for the Cardinals. We'll see if they get in. The Patrick with the ball out to Wiley. 83-47 is the score after Wineblast's free throws. Here's Dronin down low, the Cardinals driving, trying to get it inside, ball knocked away by the Knights. Three on two break for the Knights, then they'll slow it down. But the ball is Emmanuel, and shot no good on the left side by Ware, Wire. And now he got it inside to 23, James, who draws the foul. Foul's gonna be on Cornell Anderson, and now we get the Cardinals getting another sub in as Maxwell Drone and a starter comes out, and Owen Fainer comes in. Yep, shot no good by the Knights, by Lamb. I don't know, that was the free throws. I missed that, okay, sorry about that. Well, anyway, shot no good by the Knights. Cardinals have it, Wiley with the ball. Ball stolen away by the Knights. Good steal by Emmanuel. Knights with the ball, they swing it over to number 30, Dyer, and Dyer takes the shot, no good. Cardinals with the rebound. We got Daniel and Fitzpatrick in there, the other two starters that remain. Wiley with the ball, right corner for the Cardinals, has it stolen away by number 30, Dyer. Dyer to the left side, gets it to Emmanuel. Now they go to the right corner to Wineglass. Shot in the corner, up no good on the three-pointer by Dyer. Wiley the rebound for the Cardinals. 7.45 left in the game. Oh, and now another good steal by the Knights. Beautiful individual play there by 23 James, but he missed the layup coming back with an offensive board by Dyer. Keeps it alive for the Knights. Three-point shot up by, by Wineglass is good. And it's 83 to 52 now. A couple of baskets in a row by the Knights, and Coach Hallis calls timeout here, working with some of his players from the bench here, trying to get something going with the chemistry of that. Several players have not played tonight yet for the Cardinals. There's a few, might be one of them is injured, I think. Timeout Cardinals, they're up 83 to 52 in the waning moments here. Good games tonight by the Cardinals. <laughs> Timeout on the court. Cardinals 83, Knights 52. 7.28 left in the game here from the address and center here on the campus of Andrews University. Andrews University.
first week. Cardinal games are always live, all their home games, that is. They're live on AUSA, the Andrews University Student Association YouTube channel, live in HD, www.aucardinals.com. Then you go to that website, and uh, that's the uh, Andrews University Cardinals Athletic Department website, aucardinals.com. Click watch live, and you're there. We'll be on the air again on, oh, well, we got a five-second violation now on the night on the Cardinals, who are trying to bring that across center line. Knights are going to get it back here. Anyway, uh, our next home game will be uh, University of uh, Cincinnati Claremont on Monday, the 20th of January. Men and women play afternoon games here from the Adreason Center. Nice with the ball. Shot right corner, no good by Dyer. And the Cardinals get the ball on the rebound. Ryan Wiley brings it across the center line for Andrews. Wiley looking good defense by Lamb. They get it to Fitzpatrick in the lane and Cardinals commit the turnover. Traveling is the call. They got another Cardinal in the game. Number 21, Jerome Tedis has checked in for the Cardinals out of that timeout. So the Cardinals now have no starters but Fitzpatrick in there. Now the ball goes out of bounds off the Knights on a pass that Lamb tried to get from Dyer. So the ball goes wide and Lamb out of bounds. Cardinal ball with 6.30 to go in the game. Wiley down the left sideline for the Cardinals over to Fitzpatrick. Is the only starter left in there right now. Dumps it back to Owen Fainer. Back outside Fitzpatrick again. 50 on the shot clock. Wiley over to Anderson. Anderson inside to Fitzpatrick. Back outside Tedis for the shot. No good. Fitzpatrick the offensive board. Another attempt. Couldn't get it. And now a good rebound by Wineglass. And the Knights have the ball. Wineglass quickly back the other way. Gets it to Dyer. Dyer in the lane, shoots and misses. Tennis the rebound for the Cardinals. Over to Wiley, back out to Fainer. Fainer with the ball for the Cardinals with six minutes to go. Back outside Anderson, Cardinals slowing it down. 20 on the shot clock. There's Anderson driving and drawing the foul on the Knights to stop the clock with 5.51 to go. And that's the fourth team foul on the Knights. First foul, no, excuse me, the fourth foul on Dyer. So Dyer commits his fourth foul. Now be careful, one more and he's gone. 83 for the Cardinals, 52 for the Knights. Anderson at the line to shoot for the Cardinals. And Dyer picks up four. Free throw is good by Anderson. And now we're going to get a sub into the game. Number 22, Barrow checks in and Dyer goes out. We give him a little rest. And bring him, probably, bring him back in probably for the last few minutes. He's got four fouls, they got to be careful. Anderson, two for two from the line. 5.51 left, and the Cardinals have an 85-52 lead. And the Knights with a ball. Looking the shot inside, 23. James with the miss. Wiley gets the ball for the Cardinals, coming back the other way. 85-52. Anderson with the ball left sideline for the Cardinals. Dumps it back to Wiley. It's the pick from Tedis. Wiley drives left baseline. Now goes to the right baseline. Dumps it back up top to Owen Fader. Drives in the lane for the finger roll. Couldn't get it to go. Now loose ball. Battle for the rebound goes to the Knights. Knights ball. That went off of Fainer and Fitzpatrick out of bounds. Knights ball with five minutes to go. Well, five minutes left in the contest. In the contest, and the Knights have the ball. There's a shot up and no good by the Knights. 24 with the miss. That was wine glass. Wiley brings it back the other way for the Cardinals. They have four and a half left in this game. Cardinals rolling along right now with an 85-52 lead. Wiley the ball, driving by the free throw line. Takes the shot, got it to go. Two-point shot by Wiley, makes it 87-52 Cardinals. And we got more people coming off the bench for Andrews. Looks like. Looks like number 14, Abaya Newton, is going to check in for the Cardinals. Shot blocked by Tennis on the other end as the Knights tried to score. 
Wiley brings it back the other way for Andrews. Fitzpatrick now, and now I got a whistle and a pushing foul on the Knights. Going to be called on Emmanuel. It's their fifth, sixth team foul, so that's going to send the Cardinals. And here comes Abaya, Abaya Newton into the game for the Cardinals. Abaya Newton. And that, right, that completes the Cardinals getting everybody into the game tonight that was able to play. They have one guy on injured reserve who will not play tonight. So Abaya Newton into the game. Here's Anderson with a shot no good. And Newton the rebound back out to Wiley. So Newton gets in the score sheet. <laughs> Just like that with a rebound over to Wiley. Everybody getting in the action tonight. Pettis with a ball down low. Turnaround shot. Anderson got it stripped by Lamb out of bounds. Still going to be Cardinal ball with five on the shot clock. Interesting here. Anderson with the ball. The inbound for the Cardinals. They're going to get a quick shot off here. Inside Owen Fainer with the inbound. Drives to the hoop. Misses the shot. Defensive rebound by James for the Knights. Hopefully down the other end on the break. Shot blocked by Pettis. Pettis with the block out of bounds for the Cardinals as James tried to drive in there along with the uh, mind glass and we got the crowd going on that. And a timeout now by Coach Wildridge here of the Knights with 3.44 to go. It's the Cardinals 87 and the Knights 52. You're listening to Cardinal Basketball on AUSA. Brought to you by Andrews University. Quality education close to home. Andrews University. Seek knowledge, affirm your faith, and change the world. So the Cardinals cruising along on cruise control right now using their bench and looking good at the moment. Everybody contributing tonight. Get in the huddle here a little bit. Coach Palace. And you get a little action in the huddle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got real close to where they were meeting there on this timeout by the Knights. Timeout Knights. Coach Wilders talking over with his troops who are a very young squad. They have, most of their players are freshmen. I tell you, Coach Wilders doing a great job with a lot of freshmen on that team. He's got a lot of development going right there, and I think he's he's the man for it. I mean, he can do it. Yeah. To keep those players going, I think after another year or two, they're gonna they're gonna be good. I can see a lot of potential there, that's for sure. Good game tonight by Dyer. Dyer has played really well. So, yep. Well, we'll see what happens here in this last 344 remaining. Nice ball. Cardinals leading 87 to 52. Have this one well in hand at the moment, but uh, a lot of players getting action. Here we go. Inbound pass coming up here. Line glass inbounding the ball to James. Out to Lamb. Lamb now swings it right. Over the wine glass again. Lamb and the wine glass plant. Wine glass and Lamb and catch. Now they dump it into James. Back outside. James in the lane trying to drive and the ball knocked away. And the Cardinals called for a foul. It's going to be on number 21, Pettis. Trying to go for another block, probably. And he draws the foul. His first. Fourth team foul for the Cardinals. They're not over the limit, so no shooting foul here. Inbound pass coming up here. Oh, nice inbound by 24, wine glass and 23, James. Call Tennis again. He went for the block and he had partial ball there, but uh, nevertheless, a foul called. So, and uh, with 328 left in the game, second foul on Tennis will send 23 James to the free throw line for the Knights. Shot up, no good by James. He has one more free throw coming up for the Knights. Hits the second one to make it 87-53. And here we go, 320 left in the contest. Tobias Newton with the ball outside to Anderson. For the Cardinals, trying to hit it to Tennis. Down low, the ball stolen away. Good defense by James. 
Now back on the other end, trying to drive. Dumps it back outside to Wineglass. Wineglass driving. Shoots, misses, gets his own rebound. Ball knocked out of bounds by Tedis. Off of the Cardinals out of bounds. It will be. It will be Knight's ball as Cassell checks in now for Anderson. Cassell in, Anderson out for the Cardinals. Here comes the inbound. 23, James now dumps it out. They're going to Lamb now down low. Turnaround shot in the lane. Good by James on the return pass. 87-55 now, 245 left. And now Wiley has the ball knocked away from him. Loose ball goes off of the Knights out of bounds and almost got the steal. Lamb with a great effort, but the loose ball ends up being knocked out of bounds off of number 22, Barrow, of the Knights. So the Cardinals retain possession, but they only have 20 on the shot clock now. 2.40 left on the game clock. Leviah Newton with the ball on the right for the Cardinals. Swings it out to Tedis. Tedis on the left behind the arc. Back outside Owen Fainer. Fainer shaking bake, drives in the lane, right handed shot, no good. Gets his own rebound. Good follow by Owen Fainer to get his rebound. Now to Leviah Newton, back outside. Goes Zion Wiley. Wiley turnaround shot, no good. And the defensive rebound by James for the Knights. Cardinals has a couple of looks that time. Knights with the ball now. 22 Barrow back out up top to Wineglass. Inside the lane they go to James. Back out right side. Shot good by Lamb for three. Lamb with a three-pointer for the Knights. 87-58 now is the score as we go under the two-minute mark here at the Andreas and Center. Wiley with the ball just across the center line. Over to Tedis, top the key. Tedis dumps it to Newton. Newton with the ball. Back to the left side, Owen Fainer. Fainer shaking bake, trying to drive the lane. Dribbles in the lane off the window, and Owen Fainer. Great move down low for the Cardinals to make it 89-58. 1.30 to go in the contest. Lamb with the ball, back to the left side for the Knights. To James, left corner, three-pointer, Barrow, no good. Cardinals get the ball back. Rebound by Tennis to Wiley. A minute 15 to go. Wiley trying to hit Namaya uh, Newton. Wiley trying to hit Newton on the right sideline and went off of Newton out of bounds. It'll be a Knights ball with a 117 to go on the turnover. Back the other way come the Knights. It's uh, Lamb inside pass to uh, James back outside wine glass cross court to Emmanuel inside the lane. Barrow dumps it to 23. James who missed the shot in the lane. Wiley now quickly back the other way for the Cardinals and shoots off the window, misses. And the rebound by the Knights, a two-on-two break. Knights with a ball now stolen by Owen Fainer as 22-23, James tried to drive the lane for the Knights. Fainer got the steal and he brings it back the other way for the Cardinals with 40 seconds to go. They go to Cassell left side, top the key, Tedis. Tedis with the ball, over to Wiley. Wiley down low as the ball stolen away by Wineglass. Wineglass on a one-on-one break on the other end, scores for the Knights to make it 89 to 60. Got to take care of the ball. The turnover there didn't help. Fainer now back the other way for the Cardinals. They got 20 seconds to go. Fainer with the ball. We got, oh, we got an injured Knight now. It looks like a nose problem for Emmanuel. He may have got a little bit of a bloody nose. He got banged up a little bit on that exchange. But he's staying in the game. Talk is running down. Five, four, three, two, one. The Cardinals are going to win this one, 89 to 60, over the Southwestern Adventist University Knights. The final score: the Andrews Cardinals 89, Southwest Adventist University Knights 60. Final from the Andreas and Elton Wellness Center. The Cardinals sweep, sweep the Knights tonight. Ladies win the opener, men finish it up in the evening, and the Cardinals are two for two tonight. Don't forget uh, Monday night's game, uh, Monday afternoon, I mean. The next Cardinal broadcast on AUSA will be Monday, Dr. Luther King Jr. Day. Monday, uh, Cincinnati University of Cincinnati Claremont. Ladies have the first game at noon, the guys at 2 o'clock. Thanks for tuning in. So long from the address and health and wellness center when the Cardinals sweep the night. Have a good night. Thanks for tuning in on AUSA.